editing videos. <laughs> Welcome back. So I just realized that my, my storage is nearly full. So we are on a cloud recording. So hopefully this is going to work, but I'm sure, I'm sure it will. So Helen, we're back again. Last time we were just, you were giving us a really big lowdown on kind of like the meridians and um, the course that you have together with Pritam with regards to like running the meridians, the um, Kundalini Kriyas or postures that go with it. And then also the deep visualization on kind of like how or where running them or the specific points that you would be focusing on. Um, and I do have a lot of questions um, because I think this is absolutely fascinating. And I think maybe the first thing that I wanted to ask is like how as yoga practitioners um, can one use this? And then maybe as for those who are yoga teachers, how can they bring this into their classes? And mm -hmm. I know you've got an, I think it's an online course on your website as well that people can sign up to. So maybe if you can also tap into that and just say like, what is in there? What will people get? And can they use that straight away and kind of like yeah. learn the systems and everything and utilize it? Mm -hmm. um, with, with where they're at. So again, I've started with a lot of questions and go ahead, start with wherever you would like to go. <laughs> Thank you. So yes, you download it um, off um, the net on my website. Actually, you'll get access um, with your own key codes and passwords, et cetera, et cetera, but it's self-study. But we do have a support, a WhatsApp support group, Pritam and I, which is quite active, which is really beautiful. People are posting their reflections and questions. And we've got a lot of yoga teachers, not only some reflexologists, um, and then also just some individuals that are wanting to know more about their body um, for individuals who the mind-body connection is very, very important. Um, we've got some grandparents on there who are using it with their grandchildren. So, you know, there's so many different angles. But as a yoga um, teacher trainer, it's just so, it takes your understanding of the body and also benefit for those that you are working with to a deeper level. So let me just give you an example directly that will maybe um, illustrate this easier so just imagine doing a child's pose okay mm -hmm. so see the body in that position so when you are in that position the meridian that is getting stretched see the spine being beautifully but comfortably stretched over now that is your main yang meridian it's called the governing meridian it's connected with the part of the central nervous system that's very, very active. And in each of the different elements, okay, so we've got water, wood, fire, earth, and metal. You've got your yin meridian and you've got your yang meridian. But then you've got your primary, I like to call them the pairs, yin and yang. So yin would be your central meridian. It's running up the front of the body. That's the mom. The dad is the one that we're looking here. That's your father, Yang, running along the spine. And when you're in that stretched over child's pose position, it is just beautifully, but perfectly for your body. It's not pushing it, but it's allowing it to comfortably stretch open so that each of the vertebra are able to inhale and exhale. Now, as we mentioned in the previous talk, there are along the meridian line and tube in that vessel of current, there are specific points which are active for various reasons. So the one point for the governing meridian that is an active point, a primary point, is at the base of the skull where it curves in. Now, when you're in child's pose in that position, it's going to slightly push it out and it's going to stimulate it just a little bit. That is a neuroemotional point okay, for the governing meridian. So in your child's pose, it allows it just to expand out and release, for example, 
emotions that could be stuck around this particular uh, meridian is the feeling of overwhelm, embarrassment, support or feeling unsupported, trust or feeling like I can't trust. And these emotions are not always about ourselves. It could be about the world. It could be somebody else that we're viewing. Then we get to the brain hemisphere area that this meridian is connected with. And that is the temporal lobes. So now again, think of your head on the mat, relaxing down. Those lobes are relaxing down. They're getting an opportunity to just exhale and breathe out. Another point connected with that meridian is on the front of the body, the pec muscles. The center of the pec muscles are directly linked. It's called neurolymphatic points in kinesiology, and they allow the meridian and the brain hemisphere that's connected. So the meridian running up the spine over the skull, it actually ends over here um, and inside of the mouth. That connects with the brain hemisphere on the side over here. Okay. And we want as direct a communication line as possible in order for that part of the nervous system to operate and function optimally. And the area on the body connected with activating and stimulating that direct communication, believe it or not, is your pecs. So if you cross your arms now and take two fingers and go here to the center of your pec muscles and just stimulate that, what you are doing is you're stimulating neurolymphatic points for your governing meridian, your father yang meridian of the body, which is going to nourish communication. Oh, I'm feeling it already between your temporal lobes and that tube that's running just along the spinal column. So Nina, can I ask you, what are you noticing taking place in your body right now? Just out of interest. And there's no right, there's no wrong. Yeah, what's happening in my body? I think there's, not I think, because I'm in my body, so it is there. So there's... Um, a feeling of space in my shoulder blades. I don't know if that makes sense. Like there's, <laughs> like there's just an ease in, ease in the shoulder blades. That's like a physical sensation I would say I could feel in my body. Brilliant, brilliant. And just think of that current running up the spinal column. It's running between the shoulder blades. And hence why this is such an important meridian, because first of all, the spinal column and each and every vertebra linked to different organs and systems. So our primary meridians, the, the mother yin and then the father yang, those two are linked and related to all areas. So even just knowing the fundamentals of those two are going, is going to make a huge impact to your life, knowing and understanding your body a little bit better. So when you know, let's say you have the opposite happening. Okay, my shoulders are feeling a bit scrunched and my shoulder blades are quite tight together. Then I can go and rub these points. And this is linked with my nervous system meridian, which is also going to help the conscious part of my brain. It's going to help my spinal alignment. So anytime you see somebody in a class that's got bit of posture issues work with the governing meridian start with the basis of having a strong spine then you could work with the central meridian which is its partner and that would those two together because that runs up front of the core so i have a i have a question so you were talking about the the yang meridian for example you know which is very prevalent or you see when you're doing a child's pose so now when you were talking about kind of like, you know, working, working the, the pecs, would you to, to activate or to strengthen or to tune in to say the, the yang meridian in a yoga class, would you be doing the child's pose 
and then taking your hand like forwards here and rubbing into that while you're in a child pose or is it just having the awareness that there is a flow of energy from tailbone to the the point that you were talking about be, beneath the the nose and up and up with the palate so you can work with it in so many different ways in all of those ways that you mentioned and this is what we go through in the course so in a class the way that it would naturally happen in a yoga class is let's say the child's pose you in that position it's naturally going to happen that the governing meridian is going to be activated and gently stretched you can bring attention of the students in the class their awareness to this current running up their spine and over just by talking about it you can then take it further and now I wouldn't do it in the child's pose I would leave the child's pose as that is but if you can see okay it looks like a lot of people today are needing more support with this particular posture or this particular um, their own personal spinal alignment for whatever reason then you can say okay let's work with this meridian and you've got a meridian a myriad of ways of working with it one of it is to activate it with the neurolymphatics another way would be to activate it through the neuroemotional point which we would take two fingers go to that curve of the base of the spine where the neuroemotional point was we spoke of and you rub there now as you're rubbing you are allowing that area to clear and pulsate optimally that benefit is going to continue traveling up the meridian and down the meridian so you're working that meridian in another way you can work the beginning of the meridian, which is the base of the spine, two fingers base of the spine, just rub a few times. You can work the end of the meridian, which is in the mouth, the top palate. So you take your tongue. Da, 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 There's so many different ways. And it becomes quite fun. It becomes quite interesting because then you start noticing, oh, I've got a little bit of a pain here at the base of my spine. Hey, that's the beginning of my governing meridian. Let me run my governing meridian. What is governing meridian connected with? Oh, yes, it's connected with the central nervous system. I have been feeling a little bit anxious lately, and I have been feeling a bit scattered and all over the show. My brain's been foggy. I should drink some more water because central nervous system really loves water. And we go into nutrition, um, lifestyle benefits in the course as well. So looking at how this can show up in your life, how, how can a central nervous system that's been impacted or a bladder meridian that's been impacted, how can that show up? And not just from a physical point of view, but from a psychological point of view, from a spiritual point of view as well, especially when we get to the fire element there there's a lot of um, spiritual nurturing that shows up when those particular meridians and organs and systems are calling us to be looked at so we cover all those different aspects because meridian therapy it looks at yin yang philosophy and the five element theory so if i show you very quickly here there's your five elements there with your parents in the middle. So this okay. is my emotional chart that I work with, but it shows you here, your water, wood, fire, earth, and metal. And we've got our yin meridian and our yang meridian in each of these. So we go through that in the course and explain the archetypal psychology behind that. Um, and this is very much how the ancient Chinese practitioners worked. They worked with a deep archetypal awareness of nature. And the, if we listen to how they spoke of the different ailments, um, murky, or the body is damp, or moist, or dry, or it's mountain-like, et cetera, et cetera. It's these beautiful descriptions that we can understand because it's imagery. So mm -hmm. that's part and parcel in the course as well, is 
getting a feel of that because when you can feel it and you can sense something through symbols, you can start to understand that deeper in your body. When you can understand it in your body, you can then see it in another. Exactly. And kind of like what, what I love with everything that you've just said now, um, Helen, is like, for, okay, I'm going to kind of like backtrack a little with like the, the, the child's pose again is, you know, you were saying there are different areas you can, you know, test. So you could do, you know, working the pecs, you could work in the palate, you could work the tailbone. So I think a nice thing to do is, you know, do the child's pose at the beginning of class, maybe work these different areas and then go again and see like, how are you feeling now in the posture? Um, not just like physically, but like mentally and emotionally as, as well. Like, are you feeling a lot more, a lot calmer, a lot more at ease in that? Um, so I love that idea of, you know, as a teacher, you can do different things um and and have that before and after because it's such a tangible thing often we'll do something you know where we'll do like a forward bend in yoga and then we'll release the the fascia underneath the feet and then people will notice like how much further they're able to go because there is is that softness and it's pretty much the same principle that that you're sharing is like they're different points and you can actually access a different state a different feeling literally immediately um, by opening up certain areas, certain channels, certain um, and, and releasing certain pressure point areas, um, which which is great. And I love how kind of like in your course you're saying you you look at all aspects. So it's not just the physical. You like you're talking. You're also going into the nutrition. You're going into a whole load of different aspects. Um, so it sounds like it's a super in-depth course. It's not just like a, you know, let me quickly watch this 10 minutes worth of like, you know, each of the the energy, the meridian lines and how to activate them. But it sounds like there's a lot more depth um, in, in, in your course, which is absolutely lovely. Um, Can I quickly tell you what's in the course? Yes, go for it. Okay, so we've got 10 modules. Um, we've got the intro, which covers yin yang philosophy and the five element theory. And then module two and three each go through the yin state in general and the central meridian. So your, your mother, main mother uh, yin meridian. And then module three is the yang and yang in general, but the father yang meridian as well. Then we cover each module goes through the yin meridian of each of the elements. Okay, so we've got the kidney, we've got the liver, the heart, the pericardium, the spleen, and the lung. So the reason that we're covering the yin is because yin meridians are the holders of information. The yang meridians, they distribute the information. If there's mm -hmm. nothing to distribute, can't distribute. So you need, obviously, we cannot have the one without the other. But you can treat a yang issue with a yin meridian. You can't treat it the other way around. And that is why. So at the, in module 10, you do get a display of um, all the yang meridians as well. So you get with each of these 10 modules, you get a video, which is about a half an hour of theory presentation. Then you will get a um, short, um, we call it exercise video um, for ease of use for those who are using the course and maybe not yoga teachers or trainers, but it is um, led by Pritam um, and she demonstrates now how we can activate this in the body, not with the running of the meridian, but with movement. Okay. And then we've got the audio guide where you have the visualization process and you get taken inside your body and then you have a PDF with all that information as well. And yes, that information will include, um, okay, so today we're doing the spleen meridian and you've got a table where you can see, all right, which brain hemispheres is connected with um, what emotional points, what archetypal links, um, what muscle group is it connected with, what can we do to treat each of these areas if they are, are off balance. Um, yes, we've got a whole list of nutrition 
as well how you can support the lifestyle side of it and um, the psychological side um, Bach flower remedies as well to support um, the emotional and the spiritual components um, and then in module 10 Pritam puts it all together and she does a beautiful set with all of the um, yin meridians and then of course the father yang as well and we answer a few faqs and not to forget the the whatsapp group the whatsapp group's very important not everybody's on there you don't have to be on there but it's great if you are needing follow-up support and there are questions um hmm. just last night uh was yeah up between 10 and 11 answering quite a whole lot of questions about why does this show up like that and that doesn't show up like that this is why the support group is so necessary because yeah. already the information in each module is is so intense um there's so much it's covering a lot in one go but you can't cover it all hence there will be questions um so i do encourage if you are going to join the group please have the WhatsApp and, as a and it's such an important aspect and I'm so glad that you guys have included that in your course because that is one of the things that I've picked up and with the the business coaching that I'm busy training in um kind of like my coach my mentor she's been saying like a lot that like like and like you were saying before it's like there is so much information out there um we all know so much but it's the implementation and having the support structure there to support us so that we actually do the work because it's fantastic having an online course i mean how many people have online courses sitting in their laptops that they've never done because there is no support or there's no implementation support structure built into the course and I think that is key to actually utilizing and implementing the stuff in our daily life for our benefit and um and so I'm so I'm all for kind of like implementation because that's what I'm what I'm all about with the work that I'm doing it's like helping women simplify their lives and if you're in a group who understand or are on the same journey doing the same thing like your you know who, everyone who's in your group with the meridians they're all studying and they're working with the meridians when you all have a joint something and you're working towards a goal it is so uplifting and motivating and inspiring to keep on the journey because like you were saying earlier like we have these ups and downs we were chatting about like the heroin journey you know where you sometimes you get flattened completely and you know then you feel a little better and then all of a sudden you get like a double whammy and if you've got that support structure you are going to be more likely or more willing to lie in bed visualize a meridian or run a meridian or get into a posture and and do something whereas if you don't have that support structure and you don't have that whatsapp group or the group that you connect every week you're not going to, you not that you're not going to, it depends on personality okay. this way, but you're more likely to not actually implement what you've learned. Yeah, you, you forget. And, you know, the support that's happening for the um, participants in the group has also been so beautiful. You know, yes. somebody reached out and said, I'm, I'm struggling with ABC. Does anybody have a suggestion? And how you know the different offers came through and some of them were directly meridian related and others weren't but that's okay so apart from the direct support there is also it's almost like a you're having another support group in in your life that's that's there as well which is just so I think so much needed as well at this time that we're all in. And it's just been so beautiful to see how, you know, it's people from all over the world and they don't know each other, but we're here for you. And everybody's trying to help each other and, and be there, um, not just from an information, but from an emotional point of view, which has been really, really beautiful. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Helen, it has been absolutely amazing chatting to you, getting all this information. 
So I'm assuming, I mean, I'll put all your contact details in our descriptions below, but if anyone wants to get hold of you, it's helenhanson.co.za and your packages that you've got there for the Meridian course, for the muscle testing and the archetypal psychology, all those three online courses um, are, are there for people to explore and check out. And um, I'm sure if they have any questions, they can reach out to you and, um, and get in contact with you. Yes, absolutely. And thank you so much, Nina. It's been wonderful. It's been absolutely amazing. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so thank much, love. You.